as the end lesson on the particle is the same uh, then before starting this tutorial i recommend to use the last uh, nine question and come back here again uh, for now we will uh, solve this problem uh, determine the distance h for which the spacecraft s will experience equal attraction force from earth and from the sun here we can get the spacecraft here we can get the, the spacecraft and the spacecraft are at experience the two force by the earth and by the sun as you can see here they have uh, different distance and different orientations uh, and uh, we can ask in order to determine the h the h when the force of attraction uh, between the earth and the spacecraft and the sun and the spacecrafts are equals in order to do, uh, solve this problem we can use uh, different methods and uh, your mathematical concept and finally you get your answer uh, now let's see one uh, uh, step or once a single uh, problem solving mechanism but with me uh, as you know the distance h from the spacecraft express equal attraction from the earth and the sun which means first we draw the free body diagram uh, of this question as you can see here, here we can get the sun and here we can get the sun and here uh, we will have a space Craft and a spacecraft is uh, found at a distance of rs from the center of the sun which means the distance from the center of the sun to the center of the spacecraft is rs uh, we can use this rs in order to find the attraction between the suns and the spacecraft and here uh, we, we can uh, see the re which is the distance between the center of the spacecraft to the center of the earth the center of the earth which is very important to calculate the force of attraction between the spacecraft uh, between the spacecraft and the earth and here we will get uh, you will see the height h height h it, it is uh, our target we can want uh, to determine the height h and the distance between the sun to the earth is uh, d which is as you can see here, which is the distance between the sun and earth which is already known and given and here is the distance between the head h uh, and the head h on the earth surface and the earth surface is x and the distance between h and sun is d minus x because d is the total distance between the sun and the earth simply in order to find the distance between h and sun yeah. we can simply calculate uh, d minus x and find your uh, distance after this you uh, you can use a mathematical relation as you can see here x is equal to l is equal to 210,000 kilometer you can it is given already here as you can see here it is uh, 210 uh, i can use this uh, distance we can change use it uh, simply uh, it is my word uh, and you can uh, calculate d is equal to 1.96 times 10 to the power of 8 kilometer uh, which is the distance between the suns and the earth rs as you can see here rs is we can form a right angle triangle we can use the uh, concept of pythagorean theorem in order to find rs rs is simply we can get is h square plus d minus x square which means it is adjacent part and it's hypothesis and rs is a hypothesis using trigonometry you can simply calculate it and re as well as re is equal to under radical h square plus x square uh, under radical h square we can solve for h this problem and calculate the final answer and we will given the force of the earth the force of uh, attraction between the earth and the spacecraft is equal to the force of attraction between the uh, sun and the spacecraft which means gravitational constant times mass of craft over m is equal to rc uh, is equal to g times mass of sun times m over rc then we can uh, cancel by g by uh, g and g by g and m by m we can lift mass of uh, uh, c and h square plus x square is equal to mass of sun times h square plus g minus x square which means this distance r and uh, we can substitute h square plus h square in the place of r a and r s equals to this value we can substitute here simply after